Hi everyone and welcome to our video on some exam questions related to infection and response. Our first exam question states, microorganisms can cause disease, draw one line from each disease to the correct description. So the first one is HIV. So HIV is caused by a virus and it can increase the chance of infection, which is pneumonia. Now malaria is caused by a protest and remember it's transferred by a vector which is a mosquito now malaria the most obvious one there part of the life cycle includes an insect and then finally salmonella is caused by bacteria and it can be spread by not washing your hands thoroughly okay and that would be worth three marks okay next question it says gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted disease a bacterium causes gonorrhea what are the symptoms of gonorrhea so it's two marks um, and you need to tick two boxes so symptoms of gonorrhea pain when urinating and yellow discharge uh, discharge okay and that would get you two marks next question the table below shows the number of people in the uk diagnosed with gonorrhea in different years Use the data in the table to complete the graph below. Okay, the number of males have already been plotted and only some of the number of females have been plotted. So we need to plot a graph over here and it's worth three marks. So female, we need the 2009 number. So female, 2009, 5.5. So we go down, 2009, 5 is here. Let's see what it's going up in. So it's going up in ones. So 2009, 5.5 would roughly be there. Okay. 2011, it's gone up to 6. So 2011, it's gone up to 6. And then 2013, it's gone up to 7.5. So 2013, so it's gone up to... 7.5 okay and now you can just plot that remember it's a thick line not a dotted line so we're just gonna plot them like that okay and that would be worth three marks we've just plotted the graph and you can check your answer by referring to the numbers in the table now it says describe the pattern in the number of males and females with gonorrhea from 2005 to 2013 and use the date to in the graph okay so what can you see in the graph as you can see that males always have there's always a higher number of males with gonorrhea than females okay so so the number of males with gonorrhea is always higher than females. Okay, so that would be one mark so far. What else can we see? We can see that till 2011, the, the levels of the number of people diagnosed with gonorrhea is fairly constant. Okay, so the numbers till 2011 are fairly constant For both males and females okay now we need to say um, another point as well as you can see the number of males is rising faster than the number of females with gonorrhea so the number of males 
with gonorrhea is rising faster. is rising faster okay and that would now get you three marks okay next question gonorrhea is treated with an antibiotic hiv is another sexually transmitted disease explain why prescribing an antibiotic will not cure hiv and the reason for this is because hiv is a virus so hiv is a virus and because it's a virus it won't kill the antibiotics because antibiotics are only effective against bacteria so antibiotics are only effective against bacteria Okay, and that would get you two marks because you've mentioned two points. You would have also said that antibiotics will not kill viruses because viruses live inside cells. Okay, next question. Tobacco mosaic virus, TMV, is a disease affecting plants. The diagram below shows a leaf infected with TMV. All tools should be washed in disinfectant after using them on plants infected with TMV. So just why, okay? So why do they have to be washed before they're used on other plants? Because after they've been used on the infected plant, they will also have the virus on them. So they should be washed to prevent the virus from spreading. To prevent the virus from spreading and that would get you one mark okay next question scientists produced a single plant that contained a tmv resistant gene suggest how scientists can use this plant to produce many plants with the tmv resistant gene so basically if you have a single plant you need to clone that single plant to produce many plants and there are methods of cloning you can use tissue culture or plant uh, cuttings. So I'm just going to write one, which is tissue culture. Okay, you could have also had take cuttings. That will get you one mark. Now, the next question says, some plants produce fruits which contain glucose. Describe how you would test for the presence of glucose in fruit. So again, it's one of the things you need to know. You would use Benedict's solution and you also need to state the color change. It will turn from blue to orange if glucose is present. If glucose is present. Okay, and that will get you two marks. Next question. For marks, TMV can cause plants to produce less chlorophyll. This causes leaf discoloration. Explain why plants with TMV have stunted growth. So if less chlorophyll is being produced, that means less photosynthesis will happen. So less chlorophyll will result in less photosynthesis okay it will result in less photosynthesis and therefore less glucose will be made because remember photosynthesis produces oxygen and glucose if there is less photosynthesis happening less glucose will be produced Okay, so less glucose will be produced and, and this means that less energy will be released for growth. So less energy will be released 
for growth of the plant okay and if less glucose is being produced that means less amino acids will be produced so this will reduce the number of proteins and amino acids produced okay again that will result in stunted growth okay and that would get you four marks and that is it for this video thanks for watching i hope you liked it and one last thing please subscribe hit the like button and the notification bell